What's happening, people? We back again. Another episode of uh, R.E.O.P., our artist series. It's your boy, Mr. Jefferson. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Ampavelli, man. We back already. <coughs> so we got special guests in the building, man. A couple weeks in the uh, making. <laughs> in the flesh. Fin- finally got him in. Definitely. So I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, young shy, young shy here, man. You know what I'm saying? Just doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 nigga jumped you know on like a radio person. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Check him one, two, one, two. <laughs> Quiet storm voice, man. Appreciate <clears throat> you coming through, bro. Yeah, I appreciate y'all having For me. Sure. For real. I've been waiting. I've been trying to, you feel me? I, I be busy, and I know y'all be damn busy, so I'm glad I was able to line some shit up. Cause yeah, we be too busy. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be, like, be like, God damn, nigga, we doing a little too much right now. Hey, everybody bro. trying to get, get there, you feel me? They, they showcase. I yeah, yeah, everybody be trying to hit us up, but like everybody not deserving sometimes. Man. I really True be indeed. I be like, damn, what you know what I'm saying? Everybody want their podcast, but what are you what do you bring to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your what's your story? You so know what I'm saying? Shad, you deserving, bro. You got the yeah. music, you got the flow, you got the video. For, sure, for sure. Bro. We just had your brother on, we had Cam on, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted that would have come. He was I think I ain't even ask him on some late late last minute shit. I was yeah. supposed to ask his ass. But <laughs> yeah, he definitely doing his thing. I be Shit, he motivate my ass cause he be, he be chugging, you feel me? And yeah. I be, you know what I'm saying? Huh? He do. He did be doing his thing. Oh God. <coughs> you think I'm just using my podcast voice? <laughs> 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 nah, like, cause he um he on God, he do. And like, shit, sometimes he be putting that shit down and I gotta tell his ass, like, hey, like, it's that time, you feel me? I know you've been cause he call it breaks, but like I take my breaks, sometimes the bitches get too long. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta kick yourself back into that shit, cause that's real. You yeah. Use it or lose it. You lose your potential. Your potential for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So when you're in a mode where you feel like you just be slacking, we gonna call it slacking. <laughs> uh, how do you like get out of that rut? Well, shit. For me, it's harder for me because it's not like for some people it's easy. Some people it's not. For me, it wasn't. So it's like when you do, you gotta come up with your ways. And for me, I gotta fall off. I isolate. I don't talk to nobody. You feel me? Like. Mm-hmm. My homeboys, I had to, I had to get used to letting people in when I'm, when I'm in that mode. Cause once I'm in that mode, it's over. Like you feel me? I answer the phone for business, but other than that, it's like you know what I'm saying. But you gotta find you advice or something like that. That ain't just something that's spending money, whether it's smoking or you know what I'm saying, girls or you know what I'm saying, <laughs> drinking. You gotta find you something that's productive that'll mm-hmm. get you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's shit reading. You feel me? Niggas don't read no more. You put indeed. anything in a book, <laughs> and nigga won't find it. So your you brother me? was on here last week, man. So your brother named Thirty Eight Sluts. He said he had thirty eight bitches, man. That nigga psyched up. Hey, I was gonna ask you between the, between the two brothers, man. Who got oh, the most? Oh lord, boy. Who got the most? Who got the most hoes? Oh man, <laughs> man. man. That's a family. We gotta keep that's family business. <laughs> that's family business. I respect man, that. Of, I respect that. Bro, he took it out. You know what what we gentlemen. We he gentlemen. Made it we, we, he made you know it nationwide. So. Yeah, hey. nah, you know what I'm saying? We all we both got our little, you know what I'm saying, past personas. Right, <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> but nah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No sluts no more. That shit getting dirty. Can't right, be can't be playing these sluts. <laughs> yeah, they out here. They got the monkey pox and shit. Nah, so you that's be the careful. You got, be they done, got more than that. We done hit you. We done stung you. Nigga, I it's only a one group they saying got the monkey pot. Oh yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I had seen yeah. this one, this shit on like, it was like on CNN. <laughs> this dude, he went in for a COVID test, bro. Had this HIV. Oh, they say he had all that shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> monkey pox, COVID. I like yeah, throwing the throwing the white flag Syphilis. on that boy. That nigga went to a a, a rugby orgy. Yeah, that was his first <laughs> visit. That was his first visit. Yeah, <laughs> in life, he was in them rooms. <laughs> 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 all that, bro. How do you get all that? Like, you just came to see you got COVID. They're like, hey, bro, you got HIV. You mm, gotta stay a little longer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you might need a uh, residency. <laughs> <laughs> get you a room and board. <laughs> yeah, if I if I was a doctor and I had testing nigga, he had all that shit. I'm gonna just walk out the room. I ain't even gonna tell him. I, I be wondering how they like, handle that shit. They gotta see the most nasty shit every day. Like, I'm gonna be like, bro, look, ain't no real way I could break this to you. <laughs> But you got it all. <laughs> that nigga gonna be like it all. Like, what do you mean? mean? <laughs> all that shit. Anything yeah, you can anything. Think of, you I'm gonna be shit. like, bro, you a dirty, dirty some bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you a nasty nigga. <laughs> nasty motherfucker. 
<laughs> and if it's a white doctor, you gotta give him the pass. You be like, hey man, you a nasty nigga, man. Yeah, you straight up. Hey, hey, hey. That one nigga. Say, I I'll say. be his nurse. I'll be like, go ahead and say it, man. Go ahead and tell him. Go ahead and tell him. Man, nigga, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and that don't leave this office. Yeah. Yeah, that between me and you, you a nasty nigga. You a <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. One pass, man. So, uh, Shad, man, what, what part of town you from? Man, I'm from the South. Like, but when I was a kid, I was in the North, like, always. You feel me? On, like, Cleveland, like, with a red store that used to be red at, all mm-hmm. that. I used to stay down there, but like when I got on my own, you know what I'm saying? Like I moved to the south. I don't even be on the north no more. It's Damn, ugly. <laughs> south side, where it's at, man. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff, but them, them crackers be over there. Bad. You ain't lying. Bad. Man. That in the west. <laughs> no, but nah, that's definitely a nice, you know what I'm saying, place to be if you in the right place. For sure. For if sure. In the right place. Salute to. I guess that's a W for you, Joe. You got it. You got it this round, man. Ting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about it's three hundred to two. Boy, stop! I'm doing monster numbers on Boy, you. Boy, stop! So we be so every time we interview somebody from Jack, we be like, "What side of town are you from?" Of course, I'm from the north side. Where you said I was from? Where you said I was from? Well, we don't we we try not to guess because we damn so been wrong before. Oh, okay. yeah. But um um. We tally up who's north Niggas and south. south you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah bro. You would have threw, threw a wrench Oak in the Leaf. game. <laughs> yeah, Oak, yeah, Oak one, time was, one time I was assuming, nigga, like, nigga, I'm from Texas. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, All right, that's a loss for both of us. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I, I wasn't born here. I was from, uh, I was born in New Orleans. Okay. Uh, Louisiana, yeah, so I moved when I was younger. But You look like a New Orleans nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest, bro. <laughs> I got to get back to my roots, you feel me? I don't, as much as I, I can't even. As much as I love Jax, I can't be here too long. It's like everybody say, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because it ain't a breeding ground for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Now, nah, at, at least at least it's getting there. Like, they trying to make it that, but it's going to be a long road for Jax. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> well, they just need more for the city. Yeah, they need they need more positivity to get just just shoving They need more faces, activity. You know what I'm like, yeah, stuff to do. You exactly. Know what I'm you distract, yeah, you yeah. distract the community, man, yeah. and... All of that shit die down. They making everything cost. Because you got to think, like, <coughs> niggas be on the courts, mm-hmm. and you might, like, really be about to bump with a nigga. And y'all be like, all right, man, let's just play. Every time. And that shit die right there. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's that's a matter of you really mixing and mingling with people regularly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Some people got people skills. Yeah. A lot of our issues be because niggas ain't never been around somebody from another side of town or something like yeah. that. You know what I mean? And it's crazy misunderstandings and shit. Yeah. So definitely people will see something that's not them and immediately just get hostile. Like, nigga, what? Like, what the fuck you talking about? Right. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? You know what I'm saying? But nah, you got to be open to, really open to new shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a nigga, I can talk to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I can talk to a white person, a Hispanic, somebody that don't speak English, a girl, right. a dude, or, you know what I'm saying? All that. And I'm not going to change, like, but I can adjust, though. I can, right. I can definitely, it's called code switching. I'm sure y'all know what that is. Yeah. But um, yeah, definitely get in where I fit in to make it happen. Because that's what you need, for real. You ain't gonna, everybody ain't going to be just like you. 100%. At all. Yeah. And if you're making the music, yeah, it's always good to have like good people skills because like I'm pretty sure you done been chilling before you have a conversation with somebody. Now you got a fan, like oh shit, I make music. Yeah, yeah like, they gotta like you. Uh, yeah. Like mm-hmm. like in music, you can you can put it in somebody's face on Instagram all day, but they gotta like you as a person. That's yeah. why you gotta really like when people replying to you, like it might seem green to, to get personal and, and say a little more, but shit, engage with your fans. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know, it'd be the people that. You don't even know listening to your music that's tapped in. Like, they'll be done hit you out of nowhere. Like, hey, bro, I fuck with that. you like, damn, you listen to my music. Like, <laughs> you feel me? But definitely. So yeah. when you say you be, like, mingling and shit around the town, talking to people, you ever got anybody like, like that recognize you? Like, oh, shit, I be listening to the you. Yeah, to like, shit. man, like, damn, like, on some green shit, I be wishing I had a camera out. You feel me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> shit, because like, sometimes every now and then, you know what I'm saying, like, way back in the G when I used to be active, I was at a graduation and this girl walked up and was like, Oh, your name, uh, your name, your shot. And I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I was like, Yeah, my name, your shot. She was like, I liked your tape that you had dropped. Oh my God. And I was like, Damn, like, you feel me? Like, she just, she walked up, like, I saw she had done the most people is, out of the way. You feel me? Yeah. Did you, did, did you hit 
Come on. Man, that is a little girl. Yeah. Oh, oh, man, oh. Not, not a little girl, but she was like, she had an ROTC uniform. Gotcha, you gotcha, gotcha. Like, I thought it was on some shit like same, <laughs> similar age group. Man, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, she ain't walk up. Hey, like, man, you know, when nah. you a rapper, them, yeah. them, them the they kind do, of things they do you walk up. They walk up in bliss. They be like, I like your music. Now, nah, she said, I like this. She said, yeah, I like yeah. this tape. She yeah, was like, yeah. this tape you put out. Now, nah, she went, nah. <laughs> no. Yeah, see, when I was back in my day, yeah. What you say? When I was back in my day, the women come up to me and I like your song. They said, give me get your number. Cool, I like your style. I like you. Like, you I, like know it too. I like it too. <laughs> nah, like recently we shot a video um on the West and nigga ain't recognized me, but he pulled up uh <laughs> some dude. He said, Hey man, what y'all uh y'all doing a video? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I showed him uh my Instagram and all that. He followed me and stuff like that. He was like, Y'all keep it up. I done had that a couple times. You know what I'm saying? People just like show love. They'll see you shooting a video or something like that and just get excited, like, oh, what y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? Right, some people right. just wanna see, wanna yeah. see it happen, you know. But yeah, it don't it don't happen every day. Like, it ain't just yeah. But, shit, it happened, that. but it happened though. Like I got my, you know what I'm saying. I definitely put them on my belt. Trying to get it more. I really just started getting back active. You feel me? Like, cause shit, there ain't no time to do it. So like, right. I was like, I had to just yeah. get up. You know. So when I was um, DMing you a couple months ago, I remember you were saying something similar. Like you was like, I feel like I forgot the words. I probably misquoting you, but you was pretty much saying that you feel like you wasn't doing enough right now. But I was, when I look at your shit, you done dropped about Man, three tapes the, this year. So I was the, like, that's the that's more than most. Shit crazy, I guess. So I realized a long time ago I got way bigger standards for myself. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, even with making music, I, I can make 100 songs, but in my head, they're not going to be the best. And, like, I can put it out. So, like, that's why I be selective. And then I'm selective, and then I get lazy every now and then. So that that combination just get bad, and you'll end up just, oh, tomorrow I'm going to put out a tape, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Because everybody come up to you like, man, you supposed to be you supposed to be doing your thing. What's up? Where is that? You know what I'm saying? If a bunch of people coming up to you and saying the same thing, they're not lying. So you, right, need, you, right. need to, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's really a sign that, you know what I'm saying? Because if I kept missing my signs, it'll get taken away. <coughs> you feel me? Like, yeah, like, I'll be done studio burnt down or something, you know what I'm saying? Wild and even in nature. And then I'm, you know what I'm saying? Now I got to work 10 times harder when I could have been working consistently and actually, you know what right, I'm saying, making right. something happen. Got in that yeah. quicker. 100%. So um, how, how old were you when you first started rapping? Man, I had a talent show in third grade. I don't even know how old is uh, third grade. What is it like? Third grade, that's about seven. Seven, yeah, yeah. like, yeah. and I copied fucking Eminem lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. So I went up that bit and I peeped. I copied the lyrics. I went up that bit and I froze up like halfway through. I couldn't remember them bitches. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like my mama, she probably got that video way for me. Like, but I, that's where it started. And then, shit, I think. In high school, that shit, like, it ain't really go through middle school. I used to be gaming and shit, so I was on the gaming and shit. But in high school, I heard Chirac, the Chirac freestyle uh, for the first time. I think it was Montana 300, and I heard that shit, and I was like, bro, this beat hard as fuck, bro. Like, I think I can. So I had done wrote some shit, yeah. and I used to still be in my people house. So, like, I ain't wanted nobody to hear that shit. So, like, when my people were at home, I had done went my little brother was home too, you feel me? I had done he ain't probably didn't even know I did this shit. I had done went under the a computer desk. I had moved the computer uh the computer chair and then I had went under the desk and I recorded that bit. Like you can hear that shit so low, it's not like I'm whispering type yeah. shit. But, the, <laughs> <laughs> but I slid though, like the lid though, you feel me? But um shit after that, I used to just record cause I record on a phone. I used to record like it was called Garage Band. Mm -hmm. And um I used to record I ain't had no studio. So what I do, I had some old iPhone headphones with no mic on them. And I put them in the phone, and I record through the phone mic, and I hear it through the, uh, the headphones. Phone, you feel me, the headphones, yeah, yeah. until I could get a uh, computer. So like, but I did that for a long time. I used to record like some niggas from the football team. They used to be recording little songs, you know what I'm saying? I used to record. I used to be like, "Hey y'all, come on!" Like, I'm sitting there with a the phone, like sitting there engineering on a damn phone, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then up. after a while, I got a computer. Uh, all this was while I was still with my people, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really heavy on it because I'm still staying with my parents. You know how that go, you know what I'm saying? They trying to tell you the hobby, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But um, when I got my computer and stuff like that, made it started. I started free engineering, you feel me? Like, everybody, come get a session. Like, you know what I'm saying? I took, like, 25 people. Everybody came, you know what I'm saying? I was engineering. Got my little, what is it, uh, track record whatever you know what i'm saying and i started charging a little bit it dwindled down you know what i'm saying everybody ain't come back but i had to just start 
keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? I charged a little 25s and then went up to 30. You know what I'm saying? Just right, right. Well, as I felt my skills was developing. Um, and then eventually I started doing my own music. You know what I'm saying? Because I did my own music on the phone. That's what started it. But then I'm like, I'm going to do other people with it so I can figure this out. And then I'm going to do I'm going to bring them skills to me again, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't never been to a studio. Well, I've been to a studio, but, like, any song that I have, I've recorded. Like, any song that you ever heard, I recorded, like, yeah. and, and did everything and put it together, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Yeah, just because I don't, I don't want to put it in nobody else's hands, yeah. you know? Like, I'm a specific That's a better nigga. way to do it. I yeah. bet you say thousands and thousands. I can, thousands. yeah, I ain't know. I have never calculated that number like because i take a long time i said bro i got countless sessions that i done not finished so like i can imagine how much money i would have just been out of you feel me down i done spent two hours in this bitch i ain't recorded nothing man <laughs> like i tell people not to do that i didn't do it a hundred times straight you up know what I'm saying? but that's how it be because it ain't there all the time right you know what i'm saying sometimes you gotta live life to have some shit to rap about nigga they ain't ain't dead shit i've been working that's some real <laughs> shit. to be honest i feel like that's the best way to do it man yeah I, sometimes what, what's better wasting time or wasting money oh shit wasting time wasting time yeah for sure no yeah, i would say I would but sometimes say, it's gonna happen at the I same would say time what's better would be wasting money not wasting it you gotta be wasting time and spending money you wasting money you just blowing it with no fucking just but here's what i'm gonna say on that shit here's um, what i'm gonna say in 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 difference to the two in wasting money there's often experience and there's often a good time. See, you sound like Zay. Zay be uh that nigga go to Cabo, you feel me? Like some country, like like out of the country. I ain't did that yet. I gotta do it, but in my head it's like, uh But, hit me he, but he'll say it's experience, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like first quarter, I'm like, uh, I gotta get talked into that. You feel me? Some people got a different mindset, right. you know what I'm saying? They gonna had them experience when they get older, some shit to think about because mm -hmm. I be done bought some shoes and shit. Right, they right. by the time I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the difference to me is wasting time. That's something, of course, you never get back. If you if you waste two years of your life, Ooh, yeah. <coughs> like just think about it, 23 to 25, let's say, That's you know what I'm saying? You look back and you say, damn, I could have been yeah. Just yeah. just rapping and dropping a video, I could have been, you know what I mean. Yeah, so and in nobody that area, that yeah, that's I'd rather waste a little money. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. any yeah. day, money, I money for like, shit. like shit. I throw that shit. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? I can't money. tell you how much you can get money it back. I definitely, spent. you can't get exactly. time back. Exactly, you can't get time back. Exactly, you know? and the experience you gain is often greater than the money you spent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? For like sure. shit, even if it's just to say I never do that again. Definitely, at least I did it one time. though that shit felt good. <laughs> I done had some crazy experiences and blew a lot of money and said, "Damn, I'll yeah. never do that shit again." <laughs> For sure. Have you ever been like recording something like by yourself and then like you fuck something up? You're like, "Damn." Hell yeah, a lot. Yeah. Every time niggas done anybody that ever been in the studio, I don't fuck up people in the room and shit. Yeah. Like it'd be the same ball. Nigga keep hearing that shit a hundred times. Nigga just keep fuck. All right, come back. Uh, fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah it's it's and it's easy when people not in the room because i ain't gonna lie you know what i'm saying It'd be a little jealous you feel me and niggas be in the room because some people can do that shit with a hundred niggas in the room but i'm a i'm a i'm a solitary ass nigga like i had to get used to having people around when i was right. recording you know what I'm i had to get used to people hearing my shit yeah i ain't like people playing my music when i first started listening i was like oh, i'll turn that shit off it's like what you hate your voice or something yeah i hadn't found my sound yet you know what oh, i'm saying man. so like when i'm i'm making it but i'm a versatile rapper i can make shit so like when i'm making shit i might make some singing shit but i really ain't even learn how to start singing yet so that shit yeah. sound ugly or a different flow some some gangster shit i ain't really you know what i'm saying i ain't felt gangster in the last year so i done made that shit sound like a you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> you know what i'm saying but sometimes some nigga make some they want you to make some sad shit sometimes i done made some sad shit been sad as fuck Try to make some sad shit when I'm good. I can't even do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good right now. You feel me? I can't even make no authentic. You know, it just be a matter of what what mode you in. You know. So with your music, like, where do you find your inspiration? Me? Shit, I gotta live life. I, I don't. Shit, like, I don't. I can't. I don't make music often because I actually want it to be real like timeless you feel me like some shit that was me so like i gotta actually let life happen like some niggas can lock in and just make a bunch of shit you know what i'm saying and i can do that but just me i don't be on that because like my shit come from genuine experiences you know what i'm saying so when i make music it's like this was a monumental part right here you know what i'm saying i got tapes that was this period of my life in this period this period you know what i'm saying like it was all 
time so it's like it don't really be sitting right with me when i just make some shit that's just something you know what i'm saying yeah. or, or, or or a trend you know what i'm saying you know what i'm right. saying people just get like a beat or like a certain little vibe like the ny or like a drill music or like fucking you know what i'm saying anything like that like i might do it a little bit but i i i, I might i'll stop like nah, i gotta make some shit that's me yeah. You know? yeah it took a long time to get the you know for real what would you say uh your best project is damn Hmm. Shit. Um. Cause I think that varies for every person. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you ask a lot of young rappers today, it'll be like my last one. You know what I mean? But I think that cause it's like my like last one up. hard. But like, damn, I can't dumb down them other ones because them right. bitches sitting pretty right now. It's like, mm-hmm. so can I? Damn, can I give you two answers? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna give, give you I'm gonna give, give you two answers. One, what this the first choice is off of just timelessness out of everything summary. Now, the second answer is gonna be off of just updated right, raw right. or you know I'm saying raw is this, raw is that type right. shit. So yeah. my first choice, Lone Wolf. I you know what I'm saying, Lone Wolf, that shit, I got I got a tattoo off that shit. Yeah, when yeah, I first yeah. put it out, you feel me? Like that yeah. was the inspiration behind that. And that was like a well orchestrated tape. Like that was literally the only thing that was wrong with that tape was at the end of a uh, Machiavelli. It's like a blank space. That's literally yeah. the only <laughs> thing wrong with that tape. Like, but that was a seamless project to me. So I say that. Um, and then for the other one, damn, bro, I want to say evil. That yeah, was, I was a. Gonna I don't say evil. 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 Like that yeah. was a. Yeah, like like evil because I got some little EPs and stuff. But like, that was like yeah, like just overall that had like eight features and stuff like that. That was a solid tape. So I say Lone Wolf and Evil. Like you know what I'm saying. That seemed like a throwback and new school choice. Right, right. So let me ask you, what you feel like get like the most reception? Like a short EP or like a full project? Man, I feel like singles and videos get Single the most videos? reception. Okay. Like, yeah. if you got it, to just throw it at a nigga, just you know what I'm saying? Because videos, they like, they getting expensive. They might be like four, you know what I'm saying? But if you got a nigga that'll work with you, and you can just lock in, and that's what you're trying to do. If you're really trying to put this out, and you shoot singles and videos, that's because that's all people trying to see is you. You know what I'm saying? They trying to, you know what I'm saying? They trying to really people living regular lives, and they trying to see a nigga doing his thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. If you can just put in a nigga face every time, different, keep a nigga attention, you know what I'm saying? Keep it unique and just consistently, that's it. But like, we talking about tapes and um, EPs, I'd say something short because niggas' reception ain't really at an all time high right now. Right, like, people right. be in and out, you know what I'm saying? They're listening to some, oh, that's hard. Boom, they gone, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Need yeah. something else. They're like, what's up? What a new shit? I just put out a tape. Yeah. Do you <laughs> feel like the value of um, a classic album has, has died down? Yeah, it ain't no. I remember a time when I had a fucking MPD player. All I, it was classic. It was just this Wayne, you feel me? Jay Z, fucking Fifty Cent, Jada Kiss, Fabulous, all the little old that shit. And niggas was actively working. Like right now, like the only time that was like was, was like 2015 when it was like Drake was was coming out hard. You know what I'm saying? Young Thug, Future. Like that was a good time, but music ain't really. It ain't really went crazy like it used to, you know what I'm saying? Maybe 2017, but like it'd be it'd be like four, five years in between, like good periods of just yeah, all types of music. R&B in a nice <laughs> place right now, but the rap it's kind of where whatever has got a million views. Everybody saying know. R&B dead right now. Nah, nah, bro. Like I, man, like well, on I some on like some new shit, it ain't no major shit going on. I be tapped in the old shit. I listen to old shit, so that shit ain't never dead with me and shit. I listen to exactly. well, even okay. with new shit, I feel like they're not giving enough credit to some of the newer artists. So yeah. Tim's is an amazing R and B artist. I ain't tapped in there all the way. I listen oh, to one song, God. but I ain't, I figured she ain't. Well, she got a lot. <laughs> she got two <laughs> albums out. Damn. Um, it, is it diverse? Is it all sounding like Free Mind? It don't sound. It don't all sound like Free Mind. I will say her first album, it has that that 
same it's sad feel. or happy oh uh the, to me that first one is happy like happy. it's a it's an upbeat project you know what i'm saying like it's got some upbeat songs it's got some like we need some hurt some, yeah yeah it's got hurt it's got both of those <laughs> man um um but Tim's is good. I feel like Money Long is gonna be a great R and B artist. She's been a said, great that's how you writer. Say it, Money Long. I'm uh-huh. saying Mooney Long. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I thought that was a clever play on words Money as well. Long. Of course, that's, yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, uh, you got her. I think when it comes to like male R and B, it's a uh, it's in a bit of a reshaping era. You yeah, know what I mean? Definitely. But are the females Ari Lennox? Um, Oosh, yeah. Who else? You know she what I mean? Crazy. Like we got some great R and B singers right now. Even SZA. SZA is an amazing talent. Summer Walker. Goodness gracious. I was about to say, bro, you forgetting the goat, Summer Walker. Yeah, she ain't got Everybody one. Everybody just don't. She, be- she just so fucking crazy. I saw a picture. Of, yeah. I saw a video of her today sitting in the room with this big, this Afro puff picked out. <laughs> they said she be stank. <laughs> 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 Say she be good and stink. If right, she take, if she gotta gotta take showers. Take that out. Take that oh, we got. Oh, my fault. My fault. Damn, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't say shit. I know what they. I ain't said. They said it. Shit. If she oh. don't take showers, then I believe it. Yeah, I seen the tweet. <laughs> Nigga, I seen several tweets. I'm gonna get my ass canceled ASAP. Nigga gonna be so mad at me. Up and coming. Nigga done said something about something. Yeah. yeah. You know what I, mean? like, I, was about, I was about to work with that nigga. Oh God. I'm like, just tell me you stink or not. Yeah. Hey, oh, you gonna <laughs> smell it if she do. <laughs> she walk in that room, you be like, oh, mm. she's summer's mm. here. Summer's here. <laughs> summer's here. It's crazy. That's crazy, man. So let's go get in one of these videos, man. So we're gonna do uh, Angel Flow, right? So, so let's get, let's into get that. in it. So we're gonna need the oh. story behind the video, everything. All right, so. this shot by uh, Mr. Mr. Tank. Why does he? Oh shit, Why does he hate when this nigga a fan? When I was broke, I ain't asked for a, When I was broke, I ain't asked for a hand. Damn, it's a shame had to fall back and cut off a nigga. Really, that shit was pretend. Ay, really, that shit was a flagrant. The Gemini bitch said she made me. The rat cheat bitch at love, but my next side bitch out at lace it. My young nigga got a little bitch out creeps out. He just found out that she racist. Ain't no point it's both of them boys in the video. See that tray again? That tray? Shit. I ain't gonna take it, Jay. Yeah, that video was hard. Well, y'all shot that up. We shot that. It's a a little warehouse type deal. Uh, It's called Toontown. Um, Right on the water, ain't it? It's close to like the, on the river. It's like yeah, it's like right past the stadium. So yeah. that's close to the water. Yeah, yeah, it's close to the stadium. Um, and it's my dog, uh, Jamon Moore. He do tattoos. And you feel me? He got a uh, an art studio. So that's why you seen all the little unique, you feel me, art and shit and lights. Right, and right, he was actually right. doing the tattoo, like while we were shooting it. Uh, dope. Yeah, Tank. He shot the video. I Tank stunt. But uh, definitely snap. That's hard. But the inspiration to the video. I just wanted a bunch of art, you feel me? In that bit, uh, we had a uh, we had, we had a projector plan. It was a little fucking Easter egg. We had a projector plan. We had a uh, what is it called? What that shit? What that what, what that shit called? Oh, 
uh, uh, Snowfall or Devlin? Oh, Snowfall. Was it? No, no, with Lamar? That's Lamar? Yeah, Lamar. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Snowfall, ain't it? Uh, with BMF. So we had the scene where Lamar was uh, kicking in the door, trying to fucking find. I forget who that nigga was. Uh, he was coming after. But, um, yeah. but yeah, we just had a little, little. Oh, and we had just got our uh, Infinite Record hoodies. Um, that's my pre-label you feel me i got like, like that's like right now infinite records that's what's gonna be when it when it pop when right, they get right. there you know what i'm saying uh infinite can't count me out can't count it out right you know what i'm saying it. like so that. regardless or whatever that's the that's the the mission statement you know what i'm saying infinite records who all on the label Shit. right now actively speaking we got cam mcnasty we got rayvon e we got e third day sluts and well, you know what I'm And that's it, I believe. Yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? It's just whoever whoever is worthy. Right, you feel me? Right, we ain't, right. And I ain't going to, um, you know what I'm saying? I ain't interested. Like, like that's just genuine connections. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no just, oh, I met this nigga, and he sent me a verse, and we made a song. It's like, shit, I know these niggas, and every person that I do, eventually, it's, I ain't just going to sign a nigga. You know what I'm saying? He come sign here, like, you know what I'm saying? Because... It's like shit. I don't even know you. you. Just it's just money. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just be money because that's when they get bad. Right, you right, feel me? right. But yeah, when they get to that point, I'ma definitely sign somebody that's on the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Got the same because like I don't be impressed easily. You know what I'm saying? Like everything ain't the best. So like some shit just gotta catch my eye for me to be like, oh shit, like damn, like that shit hard. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's in the making. It's definitely a process. I gotta work on you feel me i ain't i ain't gonna try and sign on nigga and i ain't got my shit together first you yeah. feel me? i ain't gonna try and you know what i'm saying so it's just naturally expanding whatever it is right now so do it feel like more of a label like more of a team more of a team collective type right. deal you know what i'm saying because we all individuals but we all on the same mission you know what i'm saying so we come together and we make music you know what i'm saying they do their own thing i do my own thing but when we do jail like we come up with similar ideas and we bouncing off of each other so that we can help each other on it you know what i'm saying right. we're all trying to get to the same place all right you know I mean? gotcha. so let's talk about cam real quick man yeah. he's in the building right now he's behind yes, the camera mr mcnasty yes sir, bro. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gotta take the hardy boys two of them two hardy of them boys hardy. one and the hardy boys two yeah and that shit natural all that shit organic you feel me like we it wasn't planned it was like damn we got some we got some shit shit you know what i'm saying so we went ahead and like that was the that was the first thing one of the first things came to it like a duo type thing you feel me it was like hardy boys oh shit i was like damn and he was like all right i'm gonna be jeff i say fuck i was like because i looked up jeff and matt but niggas was like matt he hard like but jeff the fucking face so i was like i ain't I don't give a jeff fuck an al alcoholic also oh god, oh god. well shit god. <laughs> but, but shit, yeah, yeah that shit accurate you feel me just got <laughs> he got arrested though Damn, he found out. About twenty DUIs. But <laughs> fucking his legacy up. But Matt fires too. But yeah, we um, I uh, think that the Hardy Boys one came out. That shit was like fucking May, <coughs> May twenty twenty one, um, and then the next one was like fucking October. Well, no, nah, hell no, nah. like it was like September, around that time. Yeah, and then we gonna we, damn, that's crazy. You asked that. We gonna drop. We dropping some shit soon. It ain't gonna be Hardy Boys three, but it's gonna be something, some shit. That's fine. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm dropping some shit soon. Like we, yeah, everything we, yeah, that shit coming. We just gotta. So how easy is it like to make music with each other? Like what's oh, your technique? Shit, we in that bitch and nigga hit the mic. He might do his little one too. That nigga say. Mm -hmm. Hand me the headphones and you like we punch in, you know what I'm saying? Like we I used to write a long time ago, you know what I'm saying? He used to do his writing thing, but like we just we let we go bar bar bar, you know what I'm saying? We're essentially freestyling, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. So we we do the the full bar, full bar thing, like, you know what I'm saying, in and out. Sometimes I might do a whole verse, he do a whole verse, you know what I'm saying, all that. It just depends on how what it's looking like at the time. Sometimes nigga be like, Rock out, just run that bitch, you know what I'm saying? And I might do the whole end of the song he might do the whole beginning of the song and i catch the end you know what i'm saying all types of shit it's, it's just whatever it be you know what i'm saying at the time but it's, it's nothing though it, some request it's nothing like it'd it be nothing like we'd be recording i struggle just dolo you know what i'm saying shit i go in there with his ass i'd be like damn let me hop on that shit 
niggas, I done heard some shit. He done recorded and that shit. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> that nigga snap back. I gotta hop on that bitch. You feel me? So, yeah, nah, but yeah, that shit, that shit ain't nothing though. It's definitely a work because like we we had we took a um I used to record I still record him but it started with me recording him so like I don't know if shit I don't know if I asked to hop on a song or he did or if he was like you trying to get on this shit bro like but it was probably that and he was like you trying to get on this shit I'm recording I'm like uh shit yeah I hop on that bitch so I done stayed up on the mic you know what I'm saying we I think it was one two that was the first song yeah one two was the first song we made um. And then, you know what I'm saying, we started hanging, you feel me? That shit started getting natural. Shit, he pull up. I said, you wanna make this song? Shit, he started, now he pull up for a regular session, not me recording him, just a, you feel me, collab right, session, right. you know what I'm saying? And it go from there. That's all it be. You just gotta, you know, keep doing it and get genuine, genuine connection, that's all. Cause I wouldn't have recorded, I ain't know the nigga. I, ain't, I can't, I can't, I can't, can't sit, you can't sit in my house. I, I record in the studio in my house. Right. I'm a home studio, so like, you can't, niggas can't roll through that bitch if I don't know you in and out. <laughs> like at all, you feel me? Yeah, especially doing out your career, you gotta like have a like genuine connection. You gotta like know the nigga. You gonna make me act up? You come sure through this on some awesome yeah. bullshit, you know? <laughs> no. So let's go ahead and get into that one two video. Oh, we mentioned in it. Mm -hmm. You <laughs> can't make nasty. Damn, I really want that boy to be sitting here while we doing mm -hmm. this shit. Oh, you can sit here real quick. Yeah, we got the chair on, right there. On, come pull on, up, pull, yeah, pull up, pull up, pull up, chair, Cam. <laughs> yeah, you just come to me. You see, he's finna need a lighter. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Yeah, it been five minutes. Well, <laughs> cut moving that bit. Whole moving. Break yourself, fool. Um. What's wrong with you? What the fuck wrong with you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And your mama told me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Nigga can't be saying that. Fired on your day off. No. But you're still the mask? You believe in this corona shit? <laughs> you, you. One, two. What you want to do, nigga? Three, four. We can go to war, nigga. Five, six. Get put on your shit. Uh, seven, eight. Uh, get put in your place, nigga. Nine, ten. Uh, bitch, I like to spin. Uh, heard these niggas talking. We can't hear that through the wind. Uh, bitch, you want to fuck? Uh, tell her bring a friend. Can't have one, bitch. Uh, gotta have like ten. Yeah, I just bought a Glock. Tryna put him in the box. Take a picture with a hop. Get his ass kicked. Don't recall her first name. name. Bring that bitch back. Uh, she gonna need first aid. Yeah. Tay done caught her up. Bet he caught him on a Thursday. We was at the funeral laughing at what the <laughs> church say. Circles in the trunk. Pump, make him jump. Tell that boy to run. Like he forced gum. I might just go dumb. I might go retarded. Don't get rowdy in this party. Cause I might just catch a body. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a shit. Uh, uh, yeah. Smoke. Smoke. I know you ain't back here taking a shit. He's saying, fuck out of here. Go. 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 God damn. Hey, God damn. <laughs> One, two, what you want to do, nigga? Three, four. We can go to war, nigga. Five, six. Get put on your shit. Uh, seven, eight. Uh, get put in your place. Uh. Yeah, that was a hell of a video, man. Y'all did y'all Definitely. Definitely. That was early in them stages. Yeah. And the song, the video, three years old. The song, four years old. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, shit that crazy. Was, yeah. So yeah. what made y'all uh, go with the whole Friday inspiration? That was his ass. I, I believe. Really I don't know when I when I do videos with this nigga, it really be cause like I be thinking about like tag team shit. Like with Jeff Hardy shit, I always think of me and this nigga as a duo. Cause I don't yeah, know yeah. <laughs> if he like <coughs> me and this nigga is a share brain sometimes, and it's really weird. Like yeah. me and this nigga really yeah. think weirdly alike. So like yeah. with shit like that, when like we collab or link up on some shit. I always try to think of some shit that would be like two niggas. Like whenever you think of this nigga, you gonna think of this nigga. Right, right. So, and it'd be the same thing with the Infinite Records thing. Like we two separate entities, but whenever we together, you know, right. this is Infinite Records. Right. That's, yeah. that's kind of what that shit is. Exactly. So, that. Yeah, yeah. so let me that's ask Eric, this is a question for everybody. What's your favorite like rap duos that's like not a group? So example, like Wiz Currency. Go ahead. Uh, who, what's, some, what's some other one? Like Lil Baby, Gunna? Like, what's Ooh. some of y'all favorites? Shit. I'm gonna give you two more. I'm gonna give you two more. So, remember um, when B the Baby and Stunner for Vegas was together? I fucked with that in that era. Yeah. Um, fuck. Who is Herb and Bibby? Oh, yeah, Herb and Bibby, yeah. Herb and Bibby. I'm gonna go uh, Future Thug, too. Super slimy. That was good. She went crazy. I would say Wiz and Currency to me had the best like impact oh, on yeah. the on the culture. Yeah. Um probably the best sound in my opinion. Uh Baby and Gunner. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Them yeah, two boy, niggas yeah, on the money bag had shit going crazy before they started beefing. Yeah, they did. I ain't know they was beefing, but yeah, they, oh, yeah, they definitely gone. Yeah, they started some. beefing right after the take job. Oh, that shit gone. I think that shit ain't even on iTunes no more. Damn, nigga, sweet, but uh, that uh, that that uh, Kodak and Plies tape was fire. I don't know if y'all. Yeah. Damn, that. I ain't hear that. Yeah, that shit was hard. Y'all sweet, Wayne and T Pain had him right. He said Wayne and T Pain. They was undeniable, actually. Oh yeah, Wayne and T Pain. That nigga said undeniable, actually. Them two niggas on the record, bro. That nigga Wayne was literally rapping about anything. I think that nigga rapped about a magic trick. That or nigga something. don't run out of bars. Nah, yeah. Well, like, I wouldn't ain't, say. Bro, ain't never said a song the same, bro. He don't even remember his shit. 
Yeah. Nigga, he ain't remember that latex. Say, said that nigga said, "Ooh, shit, I said that." Yeah. Nigga yeah. said, hey. <laughs> "Drake and Future." Oh yeah, Drake and Future. I don't like all of that shit. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah. I respect yeah. the collab, but yeah, yeah, take, yeah, it was all right. But I respect what they did. Yeah, I, I definitely respect what they doing, but nah, they do not make the best of music together. <laughs> like. <laughs> Nah, well, that tape wasn't all that, but like when they collab, they make good music. Like, like yeah. outside of that tape, I yeah. like their music when I'm drunk. When I'm drunk, Drake and Future, that kind of vibe is like drunk type of music. Yeah. Who the hell? Yeah, I mean, Who like is? I again, I just don't be on everything. I'm not saying they don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? Got good songs and shit like that, but yeah, personally, yeah. I don't rock with it. Yeah, them niggas, uh, the DCG brothers, them boys go crazy. Who that? Uh, DCG Sean and uh, DCG Sean and and DC they like uh it was on her D-Sab label and it's some little yeah you'd have to put me on yeah, yeah. they going crazy I think I heard it uh Sean before mm-hmm. yeah it's good I think we done named them all it ain't been so because niggas really it, just yeah. started collabing like that because I'm back in the day currency in them oh Rio and Mike. Oh God! Oh yeah, uh, that's a that's a definitely yeah, good one. Definitely. Yeah, V's and Babyface Ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They ain't drop a yeah. whole tape together, but like yeah, they when they collab, definitely. It's a couple, man. They all I'll up there. Cam and Shaw had them niggas too. I'll say y'all waiting. I'll say yeah, my shit at the end. Them too. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know I think we already hit my shit. I wasn't gonna say it twice. I wasn't gonna be you know, <laughs> overzealous. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's your time, man. It's your interview, man. Yeah. So how y'all? Uh, well, Shad, how, how you pick your beats? That should be a dreadful process, but I'm telling you, cause like we go to YouTube, mm. straight up and down. We go to YouTube, and it's a million videos on that bitch, and you gotta click through every single one on. You gotta right click, open new tab. And send through 20 of them bitches and it's probably gonna be one that might sound good and you're gonna yeah. download that bit <sighs> you might not even get it on that one you know what right. i'm saying but like so that's why niggas trying to network with producers you know what i'm saying we're trying to start to reach out and get people because like some people are genuinely send it out just send it out just because but everybody not going to do that you know what i'm saying some people just trying to go for the big name and if your name ain't big you ain't gonna get you know what i'm saying no beats and if you do he gonna send you some throwaways like or you gotta spend some money like that's all that did they looking for money or a face card to put it on you know what i'm saying so but if you ain't like i say when connections come into play when you or, or genuine connections like so if you actually just reaching out to producers and telling hey bro i fuck with you you know what i'm saying you might have to shop every now and then like to get them you know what i'm saying to at least see your name because they see a hundred people dming them like hey bro your shit hard your shit hard your shit hard so shit, you shot with him consistently to where he see your name, your face. He like, okay, shit, hey, bro, I fuck with your shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's do this, let's do that. Like, I I like people to pull up. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying to have you pull up and we just chop it up, smoke. You make a beat, not rap on it right there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you know, like it just be a matter of talking, and it ain't the easiest in jacks. It ain't the you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be choice choice with who you decide to open up and you know what i'm saying be like hey i'm trying to work because sometimes it don't go how you want you know what i'm saying nigga be like hit my manager 150. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> you feel me so right. and you can't yeah. do nothing but respect it you know what i'm saying like sometimes i don't respect it i'd be like man you look, feel me like you know what i'm saying but here's my but, thing on but on paper nigga. on paper i respect it you know what i'm saying and i'm just like okay so <laughs> say less you know what i'm saying like is your feature gonna help me and that's what I'm like. You what am I playing for? Like, like, is your feature gonna get me in the clubs? Is your feature gonna get me on the radio? Is your feature gonna get me circulating something. in the city? You know what I'm saying? So Will I have motion? Something. Not just good shit, bro. Paying you for your <laughs> fucking <laughs> good shit. Like, yeah. like, like, like I repost. You feel me? I ain't. Yeah. yeah one fifty four. Just one beat. Shit. Nah. That's a. That's a. I'm talking about a feature. Oh, but beats, shit, niggas be on that too, like, cause they got leases and they got exclusive. Sometimes a nigga will be like, exclusive. beats. I can understand. You know? I can definitely understand. A verse. Here's where I. Here's where I take it. We all looking to make it, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if that's ain't the thinking case, like that. Yeah, nigga ain't if that's like the that. case, sound good. instead of me charging you 150, I will put the stipulation that okay, now I need 150 into marketing this record. 
niggas ain't thinking like that. That's, if you down, if you want me to get on a, a feature, put a hundred and fifty, spread it out, ten dollars a day over the next fifteen days on Facebook, so that or Instagram, you know what I'm saying, yeah. so that we can push it and circle. There are ways that instead of you charging <coughs> like instead of me paying you for I'm just gonna go buy some forces yeah, yeah. <laughs> business oriented right. money oriented. Yeah. oh trust yeah. i i don't i don't been around the block you know what i'm saying but yeah yeah i'll be saying nigga, they were like oh i'm doing five features right now yeah nigga posting it you ain't doing that for right, real bro. nobody you know what i'm saying you, up, you ain't doing it for nigga be like hey but it's running up yeah. Nigga say, hey, slot, slot, slot. Ain't nobody hit that nigga up, bro. Stop it, though. He's not stop it. Yeah. I just let niggas do their thing, man. Hit me now. We doing shows. Tell you, but hey, don't miss out. Shows and features. Tell you, feature with the video for the low ski. You playing. For nothing. You playing. You playing. All right, Mr. Jet. Mr. Jet. And some of them niggas, if you catch one the right there, you probably can get it for free. Like, but bro, goddamn free. Like, bro, I got the song right now. I'll send it to you right now. Right. Nigga, man, nigga ain't doing man. nothing. And then man, you, you record pay, my sometimes shit. Sometimes you'll pay a nigga for a song. He'll do the shit, and then that be it. He ain't gonna promote it. He right. Gonna help oh, it right. nigga, if I pay you for a song, you gonna you gonna post my shit on IG. Man, <laughs> right. You, sometimes they be green. Now you gonna share? You gonna share? Nigga, the be post like you too. posted, bro. Yeah, you that's your me? song, bro. <laughs> that's your I, song, I featured on it. That shit, nigga, be like, damn. Damn. Man, that's when it start right there. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine this is some niggas that be like, I will charge one fifty for the feature, and be like, oh, well, two hundred for the video. Yeah, nigga, gonna put give you a little bit extra just for them to show up. Yeah. yeah, two hundred if you ain't shooting it, or if you shooting it, three hundred if he's shooting it, or some mm-hmm. shit like that. You feel me? Yeah, that shit get ugly, bro. That's it. <laughs> nah, shit. I had yeah, one uh, experience <laughs> where um, a producer, he pretty big. I ain't gonna say his name. He actually reached out to Amp first, and he was like, "Yo, I love your shit. You missed the Jefferson, right?" Da da da. Yeah. And Amp was like, "Yo, I think this is for you." <laughs> he said, "I think this is for but, you." But um, when I responded, he was—I mean, he hit me. I told him like, "Yo, this is me." My homie sent your message. Was good. He was like, "Yo, look, I fuck with your shit, man. I really want to work with you. Come up to Atlanta, yada yada, right?" Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, "Bet." What's the catch? That What's nigga that? say, "Yo, look, <laughs> all this gonna cost you." I say, uh, 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 let me stop you there. <laughs> let me say, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What you? What, you what's what's going on? Nigga say, what's going That's, on? I, that didn't happen to me too before. Like, nigga, yeah. you trying to bait me? Like, bro, that I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Just come to Atlanta. Gotta, you know what I mean? Like, just come. I ain't yeah, got sure. it to do it. If you reaching out to a nigga, you gotta do that shit for free. Yeah. Yeah. Now I did miss one blessing by <laughs> my ignorance in that regard. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But um Could that'd be yeah. fucked up if we hit we hit Shad up and we were like, Hey yeah, come through for the interview and as soon as he get the door, we're like, Hey bro, we need two hundred from you. Yeah, yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. shit, that would have yeah. been like I would have been like, Damn, all right, damn, <laughs> all right, I ain't even know y'all were gonna hit me like that. Check this out. I still wanna do it. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to let y'all know. You feel me, man? Man. <laughs> <laughs> y'all do at the pay. Nah, if, if that was the case, I'd be like, man, I don't even fuck with y'all niggas. Like, nah, I'd be talking nah, cash. I ain't gonna burn my bridge. My whole, my, my whole ego would change. It's hurt. I'm hurt. Uh, yeah, I'm hurt. Yeah. I played it. I played it off, though. I'm like, ooh. Mm. I'm talking about my head. I'm like, fuck, these niggas are trying me. But yeah, we <laughs> 200? Oh, Two hundred. All right, fuck you, nigga. Y'all boy could have DM me that. You could have. You could have told me that before I drove <laughs> thirty <laughs> minutes. You know what I'm saying? You know how Jax is. <laughs> yeah. See, we just painted that fucked up scenario, but niggas be doing shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like it's normal. With a straight 100. face. And hey, you gotta take it to the chin. No fuck that nigga again, bro. Right. Right. <laughs> you right. gotta stab it. You gotta lie down. For sure. You on some silly shit? Yeah. It's like, damn, nigga, I thought you was this, but you more of a salesman than anything. Yeah, yeah Jacksonville's so fucked up. We be hitting niggas up for an interview, and niggas be like, is there a catch? Like, yeah. bro, no, it's not a catch, dog. Like, like never mind, bro. Never mind. <laughs> exactly. Don't worry about, about it, bro. I be like, never Don't mind, Don't worry about dog. it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like, yeah, yeah nigga, like, niggas shell shot. I would understand. I would understand if y'all ain't had no videos. Uh, you see about 100 videos up on Instagram. You see his podcast. Just go up there. Exactly. <laughs> like it's, but that's just how fucked up Jackson niggas be charging for every, charging you to breathe and shit. Because you're reaching out, nigga might think like, 
Damn, what the fuck? Like, cause some niggas, you know what I'm saying? That's niggas hit us up already trying to pay. And it's like, yo, I ain't gonna hold take up. Money, bro. Yeah, we just want to check you out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Like yeah, we get money other ways. Like we, ain't yeah. we just need. It's shit free, talk bro. To you, bro. You we fired. trying to talk. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Just coming down. Just come down to the office." Yeah, man. So with the uh, the music like landscape in Jacksonville, like what do you think need to change for shit to pick up? Mm. <clears throat> okay, so this ain't gonna be able to happen by force, but shit gotta die down before anything can happen. Like. Like niggas dying, that shit gotta stop. Like you know what I'm saying? Before anything, you feel me? Like, cause Jacksonville just gonna forever be a dangerous place. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, and it sound corny, you know what I'm saying? Everybody say it, but it's ugly. You feel me? So like, it's never gonna be no big. You feel me? It'll never be a concert at, at the stadium. It'll never be a fucking like they did it one time at, at the at, what was that? Uh, with Papa in the oh, um, Daily's place. Yeah, that was at Daily. You know what I'm saying? That was a big jump for rap and Jacks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because in the city they not on that like they trying to use that to get you know what i'm saying niggas in but like until that really die down like it'll probably still just be through the internet it'll you know what i'm saying because you know they have the showcases riverside you know what i'm saying but like it ain't as big as it could be like you right, know what I'm saying? Right. you know it's it's bigger in other places they trying to make jacks like that but until stuff get just safe for niggas to pop out it ain't really gonna be like that you know what i'm saying right right yeah but this could get there. It's it's definitely more music scene than it was way back. Like yeah. it was shit. If you was in high school making music, you on Instagram, they know you made music. But now shit, you might see a nigga on a damn billboard. Like Still nigga don't pay that money to, you know. <laughs> That's all it is. But yeah. Music definitely in a it's in a it's in a it ain't in a, a bad place. It's in a it could go this way or this way, you know. That's why I do my thing, whatever, you know, like, cause some people in it for the lift of jacks, that shit too heavy. Right, I can't, right. like, <laughs> I can't take the whole run of it, you know what I'm saying? I do my part, you know, yeah, but. For it to get to a good place, it's gonna take yeah. some time, to be honest, but I feel like everybody doing their part for the most part. Mm-hmm, for sure. It was kinda shaky at first when them certain songs came out. <laughs> we ain't yeah. gonna say which ones, but. <laughs> he's not we gonna see which ones <laughs> like kind of recovered from it a little hell bit. yeah yeah i definitely think um it's becoming a, a a better culture now with the new music the new artists that are coming out you know what i'm saying um more opportunities will come over time it's just like you say the city is often hot so yeah it makes it tough to uh have major artists come like and you can't even listen to like shit. you gotta imagine nigga put you feel me you, you can't even listen to music you you yeah you, you listen to bam or some shit that nigga done played it's a jacksonville artist nigga done knocked on your door at the red light you know what i'm saying hey bro turn that, party, that shit off bro, DJ shit. like right now like turn shit. that shit off like you feel me like that's my dog like yeah you tripping so it's like damn it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to soak in local music if it ain't just uh, yeah, like, you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, you gotta roll your windows up, you know. Just. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, that this and the dead shit. I don't get into none of that. I don't listen to that shit. It's so. ugly, man. Like, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Make it by your head, but it's like, oh, that's somebody. That's uh, yeah. Damn, that's family's like, hurting. Family's hurting about that. You feel me? Life. Like, uh, uh, a lot of a lot of niggas ain't seen nobody. So, you know, that's one thing. That's 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 something. Like, yeah, you ain't. Yeah, nigga, it's a lot of yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> nigga ain't seen a lot of that factor. Like it's easy to rap about it. That's why then white people be soaking that shit up. They got they get, they get that to go Mecca home. Shit came they about. get to go home, they like, lock they door, yeah. and and dance to that shit. You know what I'm it's saying? But it's happening. <laughs> it's yeah. happening though. Like you know what I'm saying? So definitely gotta yeah, gotta be careful with that because we in it. Like you feel yeah. me? We are we the black population and shit. Impoverished, it's a, it's a like game them. they don't give a fuck. Yeah, to be honest, no matter it's how money. much you say, money, exactly, money. Come buy this shit. Y'all say y'all like this shit. Yeah. All right, Joe. You got any more questions for sure? Nah, man. I'm ready to get to it. All right, I got a couple more questions, but you said you and Cam about to drop a tape, so we'll have to yeah, say, I want y'all yeah, to come yeah, back yeah, when y'all yeah. drop that shit. 
Yeah, we're going to Hell talk. Yeah. I got a long ass yeah, list. Yeah. I got about. And I mean, we got to go crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got about eight go more questions for you. <laughs> Damn, I'm off the tape. Oh, yeah, because we ain't even getting the inspirations or none of that. Yeah, we're so. going, yeah, I got about eight. About I was going to say, if we oh, ask any more, we'll part be here. Yeah, yeah, we're about, we about an hour part in. So I'm like, man, we'll say the rest. When you and Cam drop the tape, or when you drop your tape, whatever. So, yeah, we're going to, yeah. I'm going to be like, it's that time. I'm going to DM y'all, like, it's time. <laughs> Let me know when y'all free. And when you DM us, we're about 200. <laughs> <laughs> 250. Whoa. You said 250. They need some prices. Damn. Damn. They for real. They for you real. Know what I'm, I re- I'm, I'm really doing three. Right now, you feel me? Like, I'm really doing three right now. Normally, bro. what I'm I would with charge you. is. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm really yeah, fucking with you, bro. I'm like fucking with the motion. I, know, I, ain't making <laughs> shit. I ain't making shit. I got to use young nigga lingo. Like, you got, you got a lot of motion in the city. So <laughs> they say, bro, you got motion, but that shit ain't nothing, bro. That shit, man. Like, lock in. They say, lock in. Oh, yeah, that's the funny one. Lock in, boy. I tweak out, bro. Tap in with me, Straight up. Even though you're younger than me, tap in with me, bro. Tap in, bro. Tap in a bit, bro. So man, plug all your stuff, man. We are gonna get do this performance. You say you are gonna do Don Dada, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don Let's Dada get on it. that tape. Yes, so uh, plug all your stuff. What you working on? All that stuff. We get up out of here. But let yeah. the people know where let they can find you. Oh shit, shit. I'm tripping. I'm talking about yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for a plug you know, for yeah. real. <laughs> part better. Than really that, confusing them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But nah, uh, everything is my Instagram. Like everything is YVNGSHAD. That's Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I ain't got no Snapchat. That's on Apple Music. You feel me? You find everything on that bitch. Uh, yeah, you don't need no Snapchat, bro. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's dangerous. But nah, that's all music on all platforms on YouTube. It's Y-V-N-G-S-H-A-D. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Hey, man, tap in on, with all that mad music, with all that singing. Yes, sir. Go give me some strings, man. That shit yeah, real money. Yeah, that shit sir. real money. Yeah, with all sir. that said, we, out. we about to go to the next room for the performance. But let's get it.